with you, young lady. My father's needs are what concern me now. And what of me? Am I to have no needs because I am a woman? Should I sit still within my cloistered rooms and knit because the murderer of my firstborn brought a new wife to his bed when he had tired of my body? Maybe I should have smiled, Electa, and told Agamemnon he could kill me too if he ever needed wind again to sail his ships to Troy, to retrieve a woman who left Argos of her own free will. It is too insane. You are a woman. It is your place. Who taught you that? <laughs> You know, because I have tried to get a grant to do this kind of drag performing for years. Nobody's going to give me any money. So I, I said, oh, what will I do in this day with the Reagans in power? And I thought, now I read an article that said that Nancy Reagan had installed in the White House, at your expense, a beauty parlor. Did you know that? It's, and, and she has three hairdressers on call eight hours a day, so there's one always on call with her. One of them, her favorite, came with her when she came to the Metropolitan Museum. And I read in the New York Times that he walked behind her 20 paces, and when she saw something she liked, she turned and said, oh, Michelle, isn't that nice? And he waved to her. It was lovely. So I went, I went and within minutes of going to this beauty school, I was funded. Now, you try that as a performer, but when the Reagans are in power, you've got to be a hairdresser. They need hairdressers down in Washington. How could you do this piece when you know it's the National Endowment for the Arts? Oh, honey, that's exactly why I did it. I can't smear myself with chocolate. I'm not beautiful like Karen Finley. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her make a tit sandwich once, but these ain't real. I don't want to tell you anything. I bought them. They come in different sizes. <laughs> And I wasn't lucky enough to be born a lesbian like Holly Hughes. <laughs> so I have to do what I do. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Well, honey, that was a heterosexual act. That horse had genitalia, it was male, and I am obviously a woman. <laughs> so it's got to be all right. Listen, you want to see gay art, you go over to the public theater. <laughs> there you will see Living in the flesh, heterosexual men play faggots and they'll make you cry, feel sorry for them. All. <laughs> you come over here, you'll see a real live living uh, non-heterosexual faggot play a woman, and all I can do is make you laugh. I'd rather make you laugh. That's the difference. This is my kind of theater. You don't see homoerotic art in my dramas ever. <laughs> Stupid question. <laughs>